Now this is an elm tree and I would not do this with the uh, other grapple. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We got a new grapple and we're gonna talk about it in this video. So this is the Big Mouth Grapple. It's made by uh, Precision Manufacturing and this is like the super wide opening grapple. I can't wait to try this out. It is model 327 and this, this grapple is actually better suited for our 427. And to be quite honest, we've been running dirty by running the smaller 322 on this tractor. Uh, it was rated. Uh, it wasn't rated for this this much horsepower, this big a tractor. I just always had to be very, very careful, careful, careful with the 322. Uh, that also tells you how good the 322 is because I've done some. If you you know if you look back on our channel, we've done some pretty aggressive stuff with that grapple and never had any issues. So this one's about 478 pounds of goodness. Uh, it is really perfectly matched to this tractor. Let me show you around it. So this grapple is 63 inches wide, which is perfect for the 474. It is uh, just a right, basically even with the tires. You really don't want a grapple, like uh, I'm against having a grapple that's like really wide because when you get out to the outer edges and let's say you're running through the woods and you hang a tree, you literally can bend your whole loader because it has so much uh, leverage on the tractor. Uh, so these are some features that I really like about this grapple. This grapple has grease points at, on every movable part. That's where you're really, if, when, you're, when you're looking at your like very entry level grapples or just very entry level uh, implements or attachments in general, on moving parts, if it doesn't uh, have grease points, it's not gonna last. That's, it's, that's the reason it's so cheap. They use high quality pins and they have grease points on every, uh, every movable part. So this grapple is made out of AR400 steel. And we did a video with Bill Reed, Mr. Bill Reed. He is the owner of Precision Manufacturing. And he uh, really broke down why it's important for different types of steel. Your entry level uh, grapples are obviously not, like I said, they're not gonna have greasable points. And they also are probably going to be made out of very mild steel, which bends easy. So let me show you what we're talking about down here and how this, this grapple can be lighter and thinner uh, because it uses AR400 steel, but yet still be stronger. So each one of the, the bottom parts of the rake have a reinforced piece of metal on the outside. And they really went above and beyond because the outer, the outer points have uh, gussets on both sides or they have uh, additional thickeners on both sides so it was it, those those having the uh, this pieces of metal welded on the on each side of the outer teeth are really important because uh, we'll be swinging around in the woods and you literally can just hit the side of your grapple and bend a tooth over this makes it very difficult to do that um, I mean anything can be bent for sure if you go run into a tree you're probably gonna bend something but this is uh, our, our smaller grapple has similar attributes and big word for day attributes. The way they're able to make these grapples open up so widely is they've kind of got the cylinders pitched back in so you can have a longer cylinder. So you have a longer stroke, which makes this thing open. I mean, just almost straight up and down. Very ingenious. Uh, the weld quality looks great. The metal looks great. I have no reason to believe this grapple won't hold up as well as my other one, Plus, especially since this grapple is made for a 40 to 70 horsepower tractor and I'm putting it on a 48 horsepower tractor. All right, enough talking about this. Let's go play with it. We got to clean some woods up. It's got some pretty decent length hoses. So this thing will fit a lot of tractors without having to have anything extra. So this should reach most any tractor's third function uh, quick connects.
these are like really high quality fittings. I like them, I like them a lot. All right, let's see what this thing looks like when it opens up. I'm excited to see it. I've seen it on video only. I successfully got grease everywhere on me. All right, let's see what this thing does. I have to run it through its cycle a little bit because uh, I have to fill those cylinders up with hydraulic fluid. So here we go. Holy smokes, that thing opened wide. Okay, we gotta put some grease on it. Let me go get the grease gun. We'll grease this dude up. Trasher's got grease on it. I just read this the other day. So this ships with no grease, so make sure you grease it. Well, maybe it does have grease, I don't know. No, there's no grease in there. What's up there, buddy? Are there critters in those bushes? So this is one more neat feature right here. When you tilt your grapple back, it gives you a place to set it down. So you don't need to do anything other than just set it down. But it also it helps it kind of skid across the ground and not dig in too bad. That's a pretty neat feature for, for this. I like it. Let's go, let's go play. I'm ready to play. I don't want to talk no more. I want to do stuff. So this is one thing I've always was scared to do with the smaller grapple on this tractor because I could go along and hang a root and bend the smaller grapple. It was just not really bit, built for a tractor this strong. So I just powered through here. We, we went run the mulcher through here a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. And I was just able just to set it on the ground and just drive through without worrying about bending it if I hit a root. Now I wasn't going fast. I was being very responsible, but still, uh, I feel very comfortable with this grapple already. So one thing I have to learn how to do is gauge the front teeth so far, because this will actually tilt backwards a little bit. And it doesn't feel like the front teeth are really hitting. So I had to jump off the tractor real quick just to kind of learn how to gauge this. Uh, the tractor will actually tilt back just enough that the front teeth are not touching. So I'm gonna have to almost keep this, the back of the grapple perfectly straight up and down so that the teeth are just barely skimming the surface. I think that's the ticket. We'll try it real quick and see. The hard thing is learning how to, you know, to judge it from the, from the cockpit here for the operator station. I, I think we'll go with that right there. Get him out, doggy. Get him out. Move over, buddy. 
he, he believes this is his world. It feels like he's doing a really good job. why to have a double clamp uh, grapple because you're gonna you'll never find an even load. all the way or the grapple all the way back and it skims right across the top allowing you to just kind of scrape still got a learning curve on this particular grapple but it's close to the other one
is an elm tree, and I would not do this with the uh, other gravel. I don't think we're going to get it up. Elms are tough. I call it the cursed wood. I would probably have to work on this several days. I'm just playing. I, I, I don't recommend doing this. We're not going to get that up. Well, that big mouth opening, that, that allowed me to grab that where I probably wouldn't have got that any other way. tree pruning. I need some more ballast on the back. I don't have anything on but other than a post on here right now. And I've actually hung a big root. What do you think, Bob? What do you think about it out, huh? He said, you don't hit me with a stick. I had a limb hunk come by a tree and hung and it come back and swung around and missed him by like three or four feet. You gotta really keep an eye on him. You don't understand. Well, first impressions, I really like this grapple. Uh, I really like the fact that it opens wide. You can, especially in the small stuff, that is a very unique feature that it opens. I don't know if another grapple opens this wide or not but it, you can reach in a pile of little brush and crunch it all down. Uh, you can get a lot in, uh, in one, one bite, whereas if your grapple didn't open as wide, you would have to come back from multiple bites. And yeah, that's, that's a neat feature. Uh, the angles that you can set it back and actually have the teeth up a little bit, that's cool. And then you level it out forward and then you're, you got the skids on the back that keeps it from digging in too deep. To this point, I don't have anything that I don't like about it. And the fact that this is for a 40 to 70 horsepower tractor, I just don't think we're ever gonna have any issues with it on the 474. So this is the Precision Manufacturing Big Mouth Grapple. Uh, I, first impressions, thumbs up. Demo puppy dog. You had a rough day, didn't you? Today I'm gonna hit me with a stick. That ain't, that ain't cool. Been off at a tractor show and come back and they hit me with a stick. Come close, about, about three foot. Yeah, it would have popped him. wouldn't hurt him, but it would have popped him. And my buddy right there. <laughs>